Hi, and welcome to part 10 of this video series on the PolyEd tool in modeling mode. Um, I'm gonna, in this video, I'm gonna show a cleanup operation uh, that uses the straighten tool. So what I'm gonna do here is just create a bit of additional topology <clears throat> so I can do some operations. So basically, if I end up in this situation, I wanna get rid of these extra faces in the side and just make like an angled coming down here. So what I could do is try and delete things and stitch things and it could be kind of messy, but what I can do instead of that is I can just merge these faces. I'll just go around and merge them. So now what, ha what I've got here is I've got the sort of topology I want. I've got one face on each side and I just want to make those faces flat instead of having this L-shaped. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a straighten tool. I'm going to marquee select those edges. Now, uh, something's going a little wrong here in that I've got these extra corners here at the, those L shapes, and this is because of the extra corners functionality that I talked about in the last video. So I don't, I just want to turn that off for a second. Uh, so I turn it off, I click regenerate corners, and now when I do the marquee select, it's going to select the L shape, right? Because those are the, that L shape is the border of this L shaped polygroup face. Uh, and I'm going to do the straighten operation. And what straighten does is it basically just gets rid of all the interior vertices, uh, mesh vertices along uh, a polygroup edge and makes it a straight line. Um, so I turn those L's into these straight lines and now I've got essentially uh, the connectivity I want. Um, and, uh, you know, I could simplify by groups and just rebuild those faces or retriangulate them. I lost the UVs because, you know, they were a different shape entirely before with separate UV islands. Um, and so one thing I could do, I'll just show uh, demo this tool in this context, is I could jump into the planar projection tool. So this is a one way to quickly do UV islands in PolyEdit. I would actually recommend generally to use the unwrap tools and UV project or the UV editor, which you can uh, get to by right clicking on the model when you're not in in one of the editing tools but I'll just show it since it's here so you can do planar projection that lets you basically click on the face to set the center of the projection and then when you let go you get a line which will snap to corners even if you wanted to you know try and orient it in some direction um, and now that face gets those UVs the scale will change because the checkerboard material it's using has a different grid size than this world grid material and you can do that across multiple faces. So I can planar project here, maybe snap to this vertex and that one to make a projection uh, that is aligned to that those two the average normal of those two faces. Uh, okay, so that is using uh, the straighten tool and uh, planar projection. Thanks for watching.